gonna bring up your, your next speaker. That's gonna be the wonderful, magnificent Chris James. If you talk about how much you hate your fat, your body has been working all this time to keep you alive. I don't think anybody in my circle understands impossible. I'm Chris James and today we got a crazy video because I'm going to be talking about how your traditional scale is actually designed to lie to you about weight loss. So here's the thing. The traditional scale actually only measures the overall mass of what's on top of it, okay? And that is flawed when it comes to the human body because the human body is a, a truly dynamic machine. So what you really need is um, uh, understanding of your body composition, right? Your total mass, which includes your fat, your water, your muscle, even waste is what the, the traditional scale looks at. So imagine being able to like sift through all of the thing, the, the factors that either don't make sense or don't really explain your true weight and understand, okay, well, I've got 20 pounds of waste in my system that I need to get rid of. I can get rid of that through, you know, a 14 day cleanse or something of that nature, or by changing my dietary strategy. You can see how understanding um, the, the body composition more succinctly will give you insight on how you need to kind of move forward. And this lack of, of nuance, when we look at traditional scales, is the reason why people freak out during their fast and their refeeds. It's like, if you think that when you fast, let's say you lose 50 pounds, right? You, you do a long fast, you do 45 days, you lose 50 pounds, and then you go to refeeding, and you're doing everything that you know to do to refeed properly, and you're putting on 10 pounds in a couple of days, you're gonna freak out. You're gonna be like, bro, I just lost, you know, 20% uh, of my progress on this fast. And, and the thing about fasting is, fasting is a mental game. So if you're not strong here mentally, you're gonna be weak physically. And so what's, what's empowering is understanding the dynamic nature of the body so that you can say, okay, I understand I put 10 pounds back on, but what is that 10 pounds actually comprised of? Back in the day, you guys would have heard me say, the weight that you gain after a fast is not the same as the weight that you lose. And hopefully today in this video, we're gonna understand that a little bit better. So the first thing we're gonna highlight here, total mass is not fat loss. Total mass is, is everything, okay? So the scale doesn't differ, differentiate between water, uh, fat, muscle, waist, bone density, all of these different factors that make up total mass. It just tells you total mass. You can lose fat, gain water on the refeed through hydration, and you could think, oh, I'm gaining my, my weight back, but really you're just rehydrating. See, most of us are dehydrated. Um, I think the average American sits at around 72% water content. I mean, that's dehydrated. We should easily be 80 plus, maybe even into 90% water. But in modern times, we've gotten so comfortable with being severely dehydrated that that's the norm, that's the baseline. And really, where you become, quote unquote, severely dehydrated is now where you start having this ease from not drinking enough water, right? We see this often with people who have Alzheimer's and things of that nature, dementia, where they, they, they forget to drink, they forget to hydrate, and that kind of kind of walks them down that path of death's door. So imagine a process that properly hydrates the body. Well, you're going to gain weight because the scale is telling you overall mass. It's not telling you composition. It's not telling you hydration levels. It's not telling you all these different factors. And so if you don't understand them, you're gonna be like, oh my God, I just lost 20 pounds on this you know, two week fast, but I gained five pounds back. It's like, that sucks mentally, it sucks. So ultimately what it boils down to is when you're, when you're fasting, you're doing your refeed, just going through this whole process, our scales are creating a misunderstanding because we're measuring mass and not metabolism. So what is mass versus metabolism? As we've been talking earlier, okay, a scale is going to measure your total body weight. That's including your fat, your muscle, your waist, the gut, the, the sugar in your system, um, 
you know, biofluid production, all of that stuff has weight. Remember, when you start eating, right? You haven't been eating, whether you're water fasting or dry fasting, your if you're water fasting, your digestive system almost goes completely to rest because all it's really digesting at that time is water. When you dry fast, it's more severe because you're not even digesting water. So you get almost a complete rest of your digestive system. Well, there's different fluids, there's different processes, metabolic processes that happen when you eat, when you consume something and the body has to break that stuff down. Well, if the body doesn't have to manufacture all those fluids and things when you're eating and when you're, when you're doing those processes, guess what? It's less weight. You know, liquid has a weight to it. A gallon of water weighs something. So that all has to be taken into account. But when you are doing, when you are measuring just mass, everything is being accounted for at the same time. Metabolism is the chemical process your body uses to, to uh, convert your food into energy. And it also manages your body composition. So this includes your fat, your muscle, etc. So when we better understand how to measure metabolism, now we can see a clear picture on what the body is actually doing. We just did our DR96 a few weeks ago. We completed it. And um, I had a lady in the, the group who had mentioned that um, she was measuring herself using a special scale. And that scale was able to tell her her hydration levels or you know the, the water content in her system. Now we're doing a dry fast. And as I've told you all, when you, when you dry fast, the body manufactures metabolic water. I know a lot of y'all probably think that's nonsense. Well, she actually mentioned that as she was tracking her weight, she noticed that her hydration levels, the water levels were increasing during the dry fast. And she pointed it out, she thought it was so cool. Um, and, and so she never would have got that insight had she not been using a more specialized scale that can, kind of shows what the body is doing holistically. Now, Stephen Michael loves talking about fat loss versus weight loss and the difference. So when we talk about weight loss, we're talking about um, um, mass, overall mass. Whereas when we're talking about fat loss, we're talking about a different composition. We're talking about detoxification. We're talking about the release of inflammation. Fat loss is different from weight loss. And so fat loss is a metabolic event. It's not just about a number, you understand? During a fast, you're gonna burn fat for fuel. This is gonna show up as fat loss even if your weight fluctuates. Remember, weight loss and fat loss are two different things. So both things can be happening simultaneously. And it might feel a little confusing if this is the first time you've kind of heard this, but once you kind of play with this idea more and more, you're gonna get it. Because we typically say fat loss and weight loss are the same thing and they're not the same thing. And you gotta understand this, especially if you're gonna be fasting for long durations of time. So when you're gonna be refeeding, okay? If you're refeeding properly, let's say you're doing raw, you're clean, you're doing alkaline, the weight that you're gonna gain is strategic. So when you regain weight from a strategic refeed, it's hydration, it's muscle fullness, it's glyco glycogen restoration, okay? It's not fat when you do it the right way. Now, some of you all are going to deal with waste. Some of you all have poor gut motility. Some of you all still are going to deal with water retention, which is not the same as water. It's not the same as hydration. So it's not always going to be a hundred percent beneficial, right? Everybody, everybody's a little different. However, the mass majority of what you're gaining back is not going to be like what you lost. And the way that you can kind of see this is, well, how do your clothes fit? If you lost 50 pounds on a fast and you're in a one one a large t-shirt or a, a, you know a size six dress or whatever the case may be, and you've gained five pounds, eight pounds back, are you still able to comfortably fit those clothes? If you are, it's it's showing you. It's showing you without telling you that your composition has not changed. And so now you can understand where that weight is going and what the body is doing. And it's so important to understand this. Now, during our challenges, I always promote a particular scale. It is a scale, it's an affiliate that we've had for a couple of years now. It is, it's known as the most accurate scale that you can purchase 
um, without getting into like some of the more, you know, tech technical scales and systems that are just going to cost a fortune. This is a reasonably priced scale at home scale, and it's called the body pod. And so what it's going to measure that measures many different data points, but you can get body fat percentage. You can get lean muscle mass. As I mentioned earlier, you could get hydration levels. You can get resting metabolic rate, which is very important. And so the the scale is very affordable it is has a very low margin of error it's known as the most accurate scale and it tracks many different data points and you can watch you, you can literally track it through an app how your body composition changes whether you're fasting whether you're eating maybe you're doing a strategic refeed and through these data points you can learn how the body functions you can learn a little bit better how dynamic the body is and i think personally it helps to put your mind at ease when you're gaining weight back after a long fast it doesn't just discourage you say oh this was a waste of time it's like oh i understand what the body is doing and if you understand what the body is doing you stay encouraged you stay motivated and you're ready to hit your next fast so um, if you guys want to grab one of these scales, I'll have the link for that in the description and in the comment section. It is the scale that I personally own. I actually have uh, used several different iterations of their scale. I really like the app and how it kind of displays the information. But ultimately, you guys want to use something, a tool that's not just telling you uh, overall mass. Okay, we're not, it's not a pallet, you're not a pallet of goods that we're weighing, okay? We want to understand body composition. We want to understand metabolism. We want to understand exactly what the body is doing so that we could properly support it and keep our mental happy. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Don't forget we have our next challenge on the way it's around the corner by the time this video comes out i've either already announced it or i'm about to announce it so if you guys are ready to lock in with us do the next fasting challenge it is going to be incredible join aha communities i'll have the link for that in the description in the comment section and as always the application of knowledge is power and i will see you all in the next video